This Bermuda Roof segment for Discovery Channel Canada has been brought to you by Bacardi and the Kitson Group of Companies. Amid the breathtaking sunset and swaying palm trees, it's hard not to spot Bermuda's signature white roofs. They are rain-catching machines. For 400 years, they've been Bermuda's only source of drinking water. In fact, if you have a house, these roofs are the law. The rule that we use is that 80% of your catchment area needs to be dedicated to catching rainwater. It's eight gallons of water has to be stored on the property in a tank for every one square foot of roof area. You see, there are no rivers or streams on the island. It's made of porous limestone that instantly absorbs the 55 inches of rainfall they get per year. The early settlers took the same limestone and transformed it not only into a roof that's able to withstand a hurricane, but also capture enough water to fill four swimming pools per house per year. You probably don't get the combination of factors where you have an island, an island with the level of rainfall we have, and the level of stone, and the level of expertise that came to the island uh, a few hundred years ago utilizing domestic carpentry skills. Bermuda Roof is built to catch every last raindrop and channel it into underground storage tanks. The first step is to place the wall plate on top of the uh, wall. The common rafters are then stood up with the bird's mouth that nestles into the uh, wall plate. And then at the, at the top, uh, there's a ridge board that separates the two common rafters. Rafterfoot provides an overhang to keep rainwater off the wall. This inverted V-shaped skeleton is covered with limestone slates. In this quarry, a construction worker physically drags a mechanical saw that cuts through the bedrock and makes perfect roof slates. Tremendous amount of hard work, but also an art. You needed to have a grasp of rudimentary mathematics the first step in getting our roofs on is to create what they call an eave slate. They cut this little ridge in the, on the lower section that they could slide onto the first log, and this acted as a natural stop for the first slate. Rows of slates are embedded in mortar to create steps. Steps that help slow down the rainfall and funnel it into the gutter and underground storage tanks. The, the roofs are designed to shed water, um, not so fast that it spills over the little gutter that's crafted into the roof, but not so flat that uh, it, it collapses under its own weight. The final stage is what gives the Bermuda roof its character white color. It's treated with lime wash. It turns white and makes the roof wind and water resistant. Traditionally, Bermuda roofs were painted with lime wash, which was considered to have some antibacterial quality to it, as well as the ultraviolet light that's contained in natural sunlight. It is very hot up on a Bermuda roof. It's very blinding white light, and that can have a purification effect. Wire mesh screens out large debris. Smaller particles settle at the bottom of the tanks, making the rainwater ready for drinking. The tank is cleaned and chlorinated every five years. Rainwater is like a distilled quality. You can, on a summer's day in Bermuda, look out to the ocean and see these clouds forming right above the hot ocean. It's almost as if the sun is distilling the water. And then these clouds, you'll see them in the afternoon, they'll move over the land and then what was salty seawater, probably hours before, starts raining down on people's roofs as fresh water. And it's distilled quality, it's got no bacteria, and it's absolutely pure at that point. These roofs collect nearly 350,000 liters of water per house per year. Rain harvesting works and it's worked for Bermuda, I think for the last 400 years. I think we're an example for the rest of the world of how it can be done and how it can be integrated to each home and how people have self-control and reliance and management of their own water systems. This Bermuda Roof segment for Discovery Channel Canada has been brought to you by Bacardi and the Kitson Group of Companies.